Hey, what's up everyone? It's your girl Brain Shanae and today I have an unboxing for you and it's going to be from the uh, Beacon Book Box. This is the September box. I just did a one-time purchase um, but if you want to know what's inside of this box please stay tuned. Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my way Every single day I'm gonna make And I'm back you guys. So like I said, I'm going to be doing an unboxing uh, that I, I purchased one time purchase from Beacon Book Box and as you can see when it came in the mail it, it looks demolished so hopefully everything is still in this box um the seal wasn't broken or anything so hopefully everything that's in here is still intact because it looks like they like just killed this box um but let's go ahead and get started and open it up so here we go So of course, when I open it, it says uh, snap, share, and enjoy, hashtag Beacon Book Box. So there's that. And then this is uh, what it looks like when I open it, right here. And then it says here, the theme is Vengeance is Mine, uh, which, which is, this is a little art right here, which is really pretty. I like the purple and the red and everything like that. Um, and then it has like the little spoiler card. Um, which I will reference to, you know, share with you the people that create these wonderful items. So the first thing I see here is a little box. It says, never flinch, never fear, never forget. So we have that. That's pretty cool. And then, oh, it's an ornament. All right, that's neat. Oh, uh, so it has the same thing from the ornament. So here is the ornament up close. You probably can't see it. Maybe if I put it back in here, maybe it'll be better. But there is that. We have an ornament. So I believe in each beacon box you will receive an ornament. Um, so let me see where this one comes from. Let's see. Okay, it's a Nevernight ornament designed by Riddle and Ravens. Okay, so this is Nevernight. I haven't read Nevernight. I have two of the first books from Jay Kristoff. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to read them or not, but they're on my shelves. <laughs> but here's this. Next thing I see is oh it's soap it says corian emperor of the undying soap bar lilin lilin and linen sorry linen and olive oil aloe vera and it says ingredients uh organic shea butter olive oil coconut oil soybean oil corn oil sunflower oil oil water lye activated charcoal fragrance and colorant so here is that this is the soap and then if i take this off here yeah, so this is pretty cool. I don't want to take it off completely. But yeah, so I haven't even read this book. It looks like a book that I, I did have. I forget what it's called, but let's see. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Oh, Fury Born Soap from Tea Beacon. Label designed by uh, Book Bubbled. So, all right, so this is from Fury Born which I have not read at all. Um, but who knows? It, the soap smells pretty good. So here's that. Here's a little label and everything. So we have that. And then the next thing I see here, ooh, it looks like a little pillow, pillow uh, cover, pillowcase cover. And let's see what it says. It says, every gift is light and dark by Kinder, uh Blake. So that's pretty cool. So we have this. I have a couple of these um, little pillowcase covers. I need to get pillows for them, <laughs> but I'm not sure where I would even put these yet. So I just have them folded up somewhere. So when we, you know, when I do have room and when I do get the pillows, they'll look great and everything. And I have a nice little comfy chair to sit them in. So there is this. So we have that. And this one is, it says here, it's Three Dark Crowns pillowcase designed by Katarina Book Designs. I have not read Three Dark Crowns either. Please let me know down below what you think or any of these books because I haven't read them. But this is really pretty. I love that. I love the little designs and everything. And I love the wording. It's just really cute. So we have that. Next thing here is in this box. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, okay. It's a mug. Oh, and I'm glad that nothing's wrong with it. Ooh, okay. But yeah, so this is a mug. Look at that. 
I think we all know what this is from, like a Court Thorn, Thorn the Roses series. This is Farah, I believe, because of her tattoos on her back. But it's really cool. The rim is bl uh, black and it's just wrapped around like there. Sorry about the glare. So for this one, it says a quarter thorns and roses um, enamel mug. It's a collectible three of four designed by uh, Diana um, uh, Dorvrick. So we have that. So this is pretty cool. I like it, I like it, I like. And then last thing I see here, and there's a couple things I see. Uh, we have this little print. It says break the chains, uh, Pierce Brown Red Rising. So we have that as well. So this is pretty cool. And then, oh, and it actually gives you a little recipe on the back. It says Darwin's uh, Banana Muffins, and it gives you instructions. So, hmm, I'm actually get this. My my husband and my kids love my my, my baking. So um, I'm definitely going to do this recipe for them, see what they think about it. So we have that. And so it says Baking with the Beacons, uh, Darwin's Banana uh, Muffins. And then, let's see. <laughs> All right, so we have Death Was Only the Beginning, Huntress, A Life After Book One, uh, Julie Hall, U.S. Uh, Today bestselling author. Um, so it has this, oh, so it's like a free full uh, full length ebook. So that's pretty cool. So we have this as well. I like that. And then we also have, looks like a bookmark. So let me get all this out here. So it's like a wood bookmark. It says, sometimes justice justice was all about the small victories. That was said by Susan Dornid, a uh, truth witch. And then it says, I would have lived in peace, but my enemies brought me war. Pierce Brown and Red Rising. So here we go with that. So we have that here. A nice little wood mark that I love very much. And the wood bookmark, it says, um, designed by um, S.J. Wonderlands. It's Truth Witch and Red Rising. So this is Red Rising on this side, and this is Truth Witch on the other. And then we also have another download of another book. It's uh, called Stealing Embers. It's Fallen Legacies, book one. A Realm of Mon Monsters, A World of Lies. She belongs to both. So it's a free download. So we have that, and then we also have a little art print that represents the book. Sorry about the glare, but isn't that cute? I love it so, so much. So we have that. And then we have the September photo challenge and everything like that, which I believe is has ended. <laughs> All right, and then the book right here. It is These Vengeful Hearts. Secrets are the most powerful currency of all, Catherine Lauren. So we have this baby. I haven't heard much about this book. I haven't really seen it a lot around booktube. Um, let me know down below if you've heard of this at all, but it looks really cute. I love the cover. Like that looks really nice. I love this very much. And then let me read the synopsis as well. Ooh, and it also has a little um, author's note in here, which I think I'll read to you all. Um, but for the synopsis, it says, anyone can ask the Red Court for a favor, but every request comes at a cost. And once the deed is done, you're forever in their debt. And it says here, whenever something scandalous happens at hell or high, the Red Court is the name on, on everyone's lips. Its members, the most elite female students in the school, deal out social ruin and favors in equal measure. Their true identities, a secret known, a secret known only to their ruthless leader, the Queen of Hearts. 16-year-old Ember Williams has seen firsthand the damage the Red Court can do. Two years ago, they caused the accident that left her older sister paralyzed. Now Ember is determined to hold them accountable by taking the Red Court down from the inside. But crossing enemy lines will mean crossing moral boundaries too. Ones Ember may never be able to come back from. She always knew taking on the Red Court could come at a price, but will the cost of revenge be more than she's willing to sacrifice? Okay, so this sounds like like um, Alice in Wonderland, you know, Queen of Hearts type of retelling in a way. Um, so that's pretty cool. I really like this. And it says, the Queen of Hearts sat alone on the top shelf of my locker. The coy smile on her face said she knew something I didn't. If the rumors were, rumors were to be believed, she did. A Queen of Hearts was the infamous calling card of the Red Court's leader. And its presence could mean only one thing. My invitation had finally come. So that says that in the back right here as well but this cover is gorgeous and then if I take off the dust jacket it's black with oh like purple fuchsia foiling so that's pretty cool so we have that so that's really neat and then the letter 
from the author. It says, Dear Beacon Reader, allow me to introduce you to the Red Court. They're, um, they're at the center of every scandal at, at hell or high, and their identities are only known to their leader, the Queen of Hearts. You can ask for any favor, but you should know that you'll be paying it back, plus interest. Still want it in? Still want in? Good. I've always loved a good revenge story. They usually start with someone looking to right a wrong, but revenge isn't easy, and it's almost never cheap. These Vengeful Hearts explores Ember's journey for revenge against the Red Court and what she learns about herself in the process. This story was so fun to write. Wrapping myself up in the Red Court's um, ecosystem and creating its history was exciting. I wanted the Red Court's stru structure of favors granted and owed to feel like an ever-expanding uh, spiderweb, easy to get tangled in and hard to escape. Each character means so much to me and I hope you enjoy spending time with them as much as I did. So now that you know, do you still want that favor? <laughs> and that was said by the author. So that's pretty cool. I like reading the author notes to you all um, because I think it gives you more um, detail of what they were thinking when they were writing this uh, book. But this book sounds amazing. Um, I really enjoy it. Oh, and it's also signed by the author too. So that's really cool. So I'm definitely looking forward to reading this. This seems definitely like a, an October read. So who knows, I might just read it this month because it is October. So who knows, might just get into it and see what I think about it. Cause it sounds like an Alice in Wonderland retelling, Queen of Hearts, duh. <laughs> but anyways, that is it you guys. That is all from this box. Um, I really hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button and that bell to be notified when I upload more videos in the future. Thank you so much you guys. <laughs> see ya.